Friends, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Excuse me, Esther. Give me my glasses, please. We're going to say the prayer for you now. And sorry for the delay. It's because we are traveling. And I'm on the hotel. And everything is more confusing. Well, I would like you to know something. Very important thing. Pay attention. You're going to receive the Holy Spirit now. You have been believing, you have been obeying, you who have been placed in your life on the altar, you who have been prioritizing the will of God in your life, you are going to receive the Holy Spirit now. You are going to receive Him. You can be certain of it. Because it's what is written. What is written has to be fulfilled either with good weather or bad weather. It does not matter the situation, the circumstances. It doesn't matter if you deserve it or not. No. It doesn't matter if you are either good or bad or terrible. It doesn't matter. Once you obey the word of God, then immediately you become deserving on receiving what is written. That is what Jesus says in his word. He said like this, He who believes in me, which means he who obeys, he who obeys my word, as the scripture has said, as is written, as they are the scriptures, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. Do you know what it means, rivers of living water? Well, you have been seeing the testimonies, am I right? So, it's the Holy Spirit that comes down upon us. And from the moment that the Holy Spirit takes possession of our being, because we allow that to happen, because we want, because we have determined it, and then He starts flowing through us, and the kingdom of God then is extended towards other people through us, and the will of God is done here on earth. So, let's talk to God now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Prepare yourself now. I just would like to ask a little favor from you. Paul lay hands upon the disciples and they received the Holy Spirit on the spot. I cannot lay hands on you, but we can unite our heads. I'm going to place my head here on the video and I will pray and determine that the same Spirit that is in me may come down upon you there and now. Is that okay? So let's pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. You might be on your knees. So I also put myself on my knees. That we may be one single faith in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are connected head to head via internet. And the Lord sees the sincerity, you see the truth, you see the purity on what we want. We want to serve you. But you know, how can we serve you, Lord, if we don't know what you, Lord, wants? So, you, Lord, send the Holy Spirit exactly to guide us, direct us to do your will, so that your Spirit may come down upon these creatures, who take part in this prayer, my Father, that they may be filled with the Holy Spirit for the own and glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, receive the Holy Spirit there where you are in this moment in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Receive in the name of the Lord Jesus. And you can give praise to God. You can praise His name because He is with you. Alleluia. You can speak in tongues. What if you don't speak in tongues? doesn't matter. The important thing is what makes us to speak in tongues. And He is there. He came down upon you. And from now on, your life will be of a new creature. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God bless you all.
and until next time, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And praise God. God bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I am certain that he came down upon you because he confirms within myself now. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen.